So, the track looking absolutely superb. This great Olympic complex has delivered brilliant drama so far as we head towards the climax of day four. And now we turn our attention to the semi-finals in the women's 400 metres. This piece of equipment we're looking down from apparently now is called the Spider Cam, moving past our commentary position at the moment. Only the first two in each of these three semi-finals guaranteed a place in Wednesday's big showdown. This is the official lineup in the first of the three semi-finals of the women's 400 metres. And what a talent, Shawnee Miller-Webo, she's the Olympic champion, the world championship silver medalist, she goes in five, Quinera Hayes of the United States in six and the first in Jamaica in seven. That's Ashley Kelly of the British Virgin Islands, national record holder, made the semis in the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow over one and 200 metres. And back on Tortola, the main island that constitutes the BBI, they'll be very excited watching her now. Gunter Latsevo Kudare, European under 23 champion for Latvian earlier this year. And then Stephanie Ann McPherson, bronze medalist back in Moscow, just off the podium in both Beijing and Rio, such a consistent performer. Quinara Hayes, the second fastest athlete in the world this year, national champion, third in the Rabat Diamond League, bronze in the world indoors last year, and what a duel it could be between her and Shawnee Miller-Webo, the Olympic champion, produced a national record over 200 metres, and that takes quite some feat when you're running for the Bohemians. 21.91. Patience George, semi finalist last year in Rio and in Beijing two years ago, twice a bronze medalist in the African Championships. Roxanne Gomez, Pan American Junior Champion earlier this year. Yet another great Cuban off their conveyor belt of top quality sprinters. And on the inside, European under 23 champion a couple of years ago, Bianca Rezor. 53-7 is her lifetime best. Razor, Gomez, George, Miller-Webo, Hayes, McPherson, Latsieva, Kudara and Kelly. The first of three semi-finals in the women's 400 metres. We have two of the three fastest women in the world this year drawn alongside each other. Miller-Webo, the Olympic champion. Equal favourite for gold with Alison Felix. She's in five. That's Hayes of the United States in six. Absolutely packed here in the Olympic Stadium. World-class sprinting. Dead. This has the potential to be very fast. Shawnee Miller-Webo will be aware of just how quickly Quinara Hayes can finish, but in fact it's the Bahamian sweeping past Hayes at the moment. McPherson's running well and wide on the outside. Ashley Kelly's gone off very, very hard. George of Nigeria trying to come through on the inside. Hayes has got a lot to do to get back in this. So Miller Weibo has run really well here because she's come through steadily on the inside of McPherson. McPherson's clear in second, but can she hang on from Quinara Hayes, who is now beginning to close? Miller Weibo cruising across the line. That's the way to qualify. And McPherson does beat Quinara Hayes for the second spot. So the third fastest woman in the world this year will have to wait to see if she can go through as one of the fastest losers. What a start from Miller Weibo and how controlled at the end. She was working hard at times, but she looks good.
The only real time she worked hard was between two and 300 meters because that's where you put your work in, in a 400 meters. Let's not forget Mila Weibo's base speed is absolutely outstanding. 21.91 seconds over 200 meters. She absolutely came the top bend and put so much work in that down the home straight, she was just bringing it home. At one point, I thought Hayes, the American in lane number six, was going to close down on the Jamaican. But pl fair play to the Jamaican in second. McPherson, she dips, she gets the automatic qualifying spot. But for me, Shawnee Milowibo, she was a great athlete last year. She's potentially an even better one this season. She has the talent, she has the ability, she has the physical presence. She's such a tall, lean, rangy athlete with base speed over a 400 meters. That's very, very hard to challenge. So the likes of herself and Alison Felix, wonderful combination sprinters over the, the shorter distances than 400 meters. Look how controlled that was, Steve. Yeah, that was beautiful. It's a great run from the first two, but I'm not sure what Hayes was doing, actually, the American. He was, she was so far back over the far side there, and she's leaving herself far too much to do. Really, that was disappointing from Hayes, but Mila Uwebu, wow, she's going to be a real danger in that final. Well, we haven't seen what Felix can do in the semis yet, but my goodness me, it's got to go some to match that. Shawnee Mila Uwebu, a very, very impressive qualification to the final from the Olympic champion. McPherson through, Punara Hayes will have an anxious wait now. The next semi-final of the women's. And obviously, all eyes will be on lane four. Anderson Phoenix. What can she do? What sort of performance can she put up now after we've seen what's been going on in the previous semi final? Just two fastest through, and the two fastest losers through to the final on Wednesday. Just on the outside. Well, this is a really loaded one, really. This is Noveline Williams Mills. Eight times the Jamaican champion, six at World Championships. Awkward lane nine, though. And her inside from Nigeria, Inka AJ, second in the Nigerian Championships. Sawa Ed Nassar. Well, this is a real talent, the world youth champion. She won a heat looking very, very good indeed for Bahrain. That's a loop of Greece, the four-time Greek champion. She was second in her heat, 52-61, so she's got a good lane draw. And then the great Sharika Jackson of Jamaica. Beijing bronzes, sorry, Beijing bronze, and in Rio too, just behind the duo of Phoenix and Miller. And this is one of the great 400-meter, 200-meter runners we've ever seen. Anderson Phoenix, I think the 400 metres is probably, for me, her best event, but she's only just come up to it late in her career. Possibly could run incredibly fast at this distance. And then from India, Shioran, the new Asian champion. For Botswana, Lydia Jael. Close to 50 seconds this season. And then another one that perhaps could put a bit of an upset here to qualify. Very, very hard qualifications. Just two to go through by right to that final. And there are four athletes that could do just that on paper. Away they go. On the outside. Williams Mills knows she's got to go off hard and she's done just that. But look at Felix. Beautiful stride. The American there in lane four. Just eating up the ground on the back straight. On her outside, Jackson trying to come back it up. Felix still holding her at bay though. Felix and Jackson it is, I think, at the moment. And on the outside, normally Williams also running well. NASA in the middle of the picture of those four looking very comfortable too but look at the smoothness of Anderson Phoenix coming off 
a metre or so clear of everybody else. NASA running well on the inside of her. NASA's coming through. Phoenix is slowing down a little bit. It's going to be Phoenix, NASA down on the outside, just coming through. Normally, so Mills Williams coming through. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Did NASA sneak it in the end? Maybe if she did, because I think Phoenix just slowed down a little bit there. And look at that, a national record, 50.08. Phoenix, I think, was just easing her way through as she always does. And we've said this about getting her through to the final with as little expenditure as possible. Well, I think she eased up too early and looked round and suddenly thought, hang on a minute, they're coming back to me. I've got to make absolutely sure. She's way clear here, but look how much she's relaxing. And now she suddenly realizes, OK, I can feel the pressure coming from the Jamaicans. I've got to make sure I get through. But the uh, Bahrainian took her on the line. Anxious moments there for Alison Felix. Well, I think she knew she was clear of the first two. The Jamaicans were well back, really. Well, there's the last heat of the women's with uh, NASA just taking it in the end from Felix, easing up maybe a little bit too much. But the national record for her there, that's a good run from her. The start list for the third and final semi-final of the women's 400 metres. Former champion Amantle Moncho in lane number six and Phyllis Francis of the USA in lane number five. On the outside then for Nigeria, Margaret Bambose, semi-finalist in the Olympics last year in Rio. In lane number eight, Zoe Clark for Great Britain, Northern Ireland, the UK champion this year. First the best down to 51.84 seconds. Inside of the Britain will be the Jamaican Chris Ann Gordon, the US collegiate champion this year, representing the University of Texas at Austin. 51.14 to qualify, 50.13 is a lifetime best this season and then from Botswana the former world champion Amantle Moncho 49.33 at her best that was four years ago but outside of 51 seconds this season lane number five for the US fifth in Rio last year second at the US championships this year Phyllis Francis she ran the third leg for the US relay team which won Olympic gold last year Lane four from Zambia, the African Games champion two years ago. And Popo, 51.50 this season. Lane number three from Germany, three times their national champion. Ruth Spellmeyer. And completing the lineup from Poland, Iga Baumgart. 51.71, a lifetime best this year. So, Third and final semi-final. First two. And the two non-fastest automatic qualifiers. Hayes and Felix watch on. Fastest non-automatic qualifying times of the two Jamaicans. They'll be watching on somewhere as well, along with the Americans, Williams, Mills and Jackson.
but unofficially 50.39 seconds. And Phyllis Francis just over 50 seconds booking her place in the final. Oh, she gives us a smile, but on Popo, oh, she pushed her close. 50.60 seconds for her in second and 50.37 officially now for Phyllis Francis. Well, it was good running. There'll be no non-automatic qualifiers, though, from that heat. It will be the two Jamaicans that will get through. But as expected, Rob Walker, Phyllis Francis, the American, well, she controlled it, she dominated it, didn't look as comfortable as some of the others in the semi-finals, but job done. Do you know what? I was so impressed there with Kabanji Mapopo, the Zambian. She started in athletics incredibly late. She was an international footballer. She's only been running the 400 metres for around two or three seasons, I think. What, what experience there and composure. Started well down the back straight, didn't go off too hard trying to follow the American, but she came through really well at the end to take that second automatic spot, Mapopo. Considering she's only been racing for a couple of years, that is a great run from the African to follow home a woman of this experience into what we know is going to be a great final. Well, it will be, and it will have Francis in it, and it will have Felix in it but it won't have the American that was on the left of our shot earlier, Quinera Hayes. That's a bit of a shock back because she was the world number two coming into this championship and she'll miss out by one one hundredth of a second to Sharika Jackson of Jamaica. So confirmation then, Francis and Popo through to that women's 400 metre final on Wednesday. What do you think, Miller Weibo? Yep, just like Rio last year, Miller Weibo and Felix, they're the two that are going to battle. But led by Naser, that national record, 50.08 seconds, super stuff from her. But Felix, Miller Weibo, looking supreme for me. Let the battle commence on Wednesday night.